Welcome to the video on exponents. Now, this is a lot like when we were talking about squares and square roots, specifically about squares. Exponents is another way of representing numbers. Like squares, we can have, for example, 2 to the power of 2, and that means 2 times 2, and that is 4. The way of looking at that is if I have a square, and the sides happen to be length of 2, my area, or if I make it into a square, the square is going to be area of 4. Now, that is a simple version of exponents. In this case, we call it the square of 2. So 2 squared is 4. But exponents goes a little bit bigger than that. With exponents, we're taking also a number. Here, I'll just do 2 again as an example. 3 to the exponent of 2, 3 to the power of 2, or 3 squared. It can mean all those things. 3 to the power of 2 can mean 3 to the exponent of 2, or we could say it is 3 squared. They all mean the same thing. Power of 2, exponent of 2, and 3 squared. All the same thing. But how about if I take the 2 and I put a 3 up there? It means the same thing as these things, but using the different numbers. So that is 2 to the power of 3, or 2 to the exponent of 3, or it could mean 2 cubed. Instead of squared, it's cubed, because in this case, what we are doing is a common mistake here, instead of doing 2 times 2 times 2, is students sometimes do 2 times 3. But that's not the case. This is raised above the line. We call that a superscript. Super just meaning above the line. Okay, 2 to the exponent of 3. It means that number, in this case the 2, is multiplied by itself 3 times. So. 2 to the 4 would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And you can solve that just by taking your calculator and doing 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. And for this, same thing except 4 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 16. Now the 2 could be any number, and this 3, and the 4, and the 2 could be any number as well. I could take a 6, and I could do the exponent of 5. And some students, again, may make this mistake. and may say 6 times 5 is 30, but it's not. It means 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. So 6, all of these are 6s done five times. One, two, three, four, five. And you can just plug that into your calculator. Two, three, four, five. 7,776. Okay. At some point we may go the other way and may start looking at the, uh, the root of these but that's much later. So for now, exponents, it could be to any number, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, a 27. However, whatever number it is, just represents the number of times this number multiplies.